Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Sea Life 3 guide on the repo. Well, repo is a important thing in Sea Life 3 because it is basically required to write all vehicles. Some information you guys need to know first off. One, you require a driver's license for the repo job. Two, is eight grand to purchase the repo job. And also, five driving skill also. But, yeah, the repo lot is located north of PD and south of Wayfield. It is also where the repo lot is, along with Repo Incorporated. Repo Incorporated is the business that you purchase to, or actually, the, where you go and purchase your job. And yeah, and there's the Wayfield. And then also, repo lot is where you take the vehicles to be crushed or even doing the impounding. So, if we just go over the road here, we will also now get to have a look at where everything is. So, to our left is the repo lot. That is where your vehicle is impounded. And that is really the only way to access that is through the CLPD. So, that's expensive. Check out the repo computer on how to do that job when you're the repo. So, it's fun. Then there is the compressor which I will show you later and also explain a bit more but it is fun to use and then we've got to our right the building itself we purchased the job and also has some interaction with the compactor as well so if we just go to the scroll menu you have to select the red text of repo job you get that and then once you've got done it, it will come down the menu and will say you've got the job and all that. And you can get a red repo truck, green repo truck, blue repo truck, many different colours. Which is absolutely fantastic for different things that you want to do. So, you can unlock it as normal. You can also play with windows, put them up and down and do all that cool stuff. If you go into your scroll menu, you can lower your repo bar at the back or lift as I think it's called if my memory serves me correct so once the lift is down you will have your hazard lights come on and all that cool stuff and that means you can flip and repo the vehicles that are needed so if we just jump out for a moment yep we will just jump out and have a look at it so here is it down you'll see flashing lights and all that but you are restricted in speed to only 80 miles or 80 kilometers i think it's 80 kilometers an hour yeah so let's just go over here and repo this car that has been inconspicuously placed from about 300 feet up so if we can do that yep go into third person go in front of it and then we will go back and once we're stopped we can uh, repo it and take it back to the repo lot. Uh, also, while we take this back to repo lot, you can the role of the repo is to repair, scrap, flip and many more things to do. Basically imagination is everything with the repo and it can be a lot of fun doing it. So now that we're back at the repo lot, we try and do a three point turn as best as we can in this area which is absolute fun as anything you do that and then we go put it in the compact like so the vehicles to my knowledge must be destroyed I think don't quote me for that but if you put a vehicle in there that is not supposed to be destroyed you're not going to be on the good end of the receiving so you can lift it up so when you've lifted the lift bar up it will be lights will go off and your speed will increase and also lock it just to make sure because people will or could decide to nick your repo truck and you will have a very very bad day so let's just shut the door and then once the door is shut you can compact it down and it will do all these cool sounds and animation so i will leave you with that and we'll be back in a moment to continue the discussion on what to do with it.
Now that the compactor is finished, you can see a nice little block there. So that is your car. So that's what you don't want to really happen, is get a compacted car. Usually used for the destroyed car, and that can now be sold. So we'll just go into our menu right now, and we will probably have a look at it. It looks like a repair kit when you're in the menu. Yeah, as you can see up there, crushed metal block. That is 1kg for one. So there's a good source of income on top of the 200 and... I think it's... You learn less than $300. But that's $20. Sell that. There's 20 bucks. But basically you have... I think 250, 230 in income, I think, every half hour, but you have to be in, you have to be in your repo truck to get it. So yeah. Also there's the quit job. If you click on that and click use, you will leave the job. So that means you'll no longer have it. So you don't want that, or else you will be no longer getting that job. And you will keep your repo truck, but you won't get get any income off it and all that fun stuff. But, yeah. Overall, the repo is probably one of the most interesting things to do, apart from being a taxi driver and the many other roles that you can do. But this does help out people. So, yeah. Also, suggest a guide you'd like to be done as well, because that is also awesome. Well, this concludes the guide on repo. You can check out the previous guide on is on the left of the screen and don't forget to check out the rest of the guides in the playlist also.